You're watching 41 Action News. Tonight, Kansas City police sat across from business owners and people who live in the 18th and Vine District to figure out how to stop the violence. That question goes on and on, it seems. Our reporter Nick Starling shares the big concerns business owners have. On the corner of 18th and Vine, you may see Bushwell Farmer selling T-shirts. He's known the district for a long time. And my mother used to walk us down here, and Vine used to be uh, the happening spot. Right now, he says it's not the district he remembers as crime continues to be a problem. Just a month ago, on April 25th, 34-year-old Gary Taylor was killed while working as a security officer. He lived his life on a project. He just had fun, lived his life, took care of everybody. It's this kind of violence Farmer doesn't want associated with this historic district. I mean, I was upset. At the American Jazz Museum, they too don't want the violence to be part of what this district is known for. Sometimes when we get these violence moments that peak up, we think, well, this is not black excellence. This is not the best of ourselves because we know that we have a history here of great Greatness. Some of those concerns were expressed inside this community center as business owners, those who live in this community and KCPD came together and listened to one another to make the 18th and Vine District a safer place. In this room, there's six tables for everyone to get to know one another and learn about problems and solutions. A liaison between community and police. When asked to describe what emotions they feel about their district, you hear the words fear. Exhaustion. As for solutions, communication, getting to know one another, and making this community have each other's backs. What we need is for all of us to come together as a whole. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.